finished installing cold air system that made some good numbers on our dyno. Now our technician Dave over here is going to install a Mopar exhaust system to see if we can get more power out of it. First thing you want to do anytime you're underneath a vehicle, no matter what it is you're doing, get some safety glasses on. We got one cross member here to remove. Because the factory exhaust system splits only on one side here at this junction, and we're going to have to actually cut this pipe and take the mufflers out separately. Our next step is going to be to pull this whole center section out. So we'll put a pole jack under the center to hold up the exhaust system because it is pretty heavy. For a newer vehicle like this one, not everything's all rusted on real bad. And if your vehicle's a little older, you may need to soak it with some penetrating oil for a while to get this stuff to come off easier. We'll kind of want to orient the clamps the way they were from the factory. They were both pointing out, so we'll put them on here the same way. This one's a lot lighter than the other one. Hanger pieces go up, just like the factory ones did. Pipe has been stretched at this end, so obviously this is where the clamp is going to go. I'm not going to want to put it on here first. I usually like to orient clamps to where I can reach them easily when I'm ready to put it all, tighten it all down. metal portion of the hanger that comes off of the pipe in relation to the rubber hanger on the frame. And you're usually going to want these pretty much vertical. We can get our clamps somewhat snug right now, leave them just loose enough to where we can wiggle something later on and adjust as we need to. Take a little pressure off this now since the hangers are holding up the uh, pipes. And take a look at our mufflers. We'll start by tightening up here. Now that we got our free-flowing exhaust system in our SRT8 car, let's throw it on the dyno and see what kind of power she'll make. We just finished dynoing the Mopar exhaust system. It looks like we gained 7 foot-pounds of torque from 5,000 to 5,500. And on the horsepower side, it looks like we gained about 5 horsepower from the same RPM level. The exhaust system looks like it made a broader power band, clearing out the dip that we had earlier with the cold air intake. Okay, what we have here is a Diablo Predator. Uh, the Predator is a tool that helps you adjust and manipulate the factory ECU adjustments. We can adjust the fueling on this and we can adjust the timing, ignition, ignition timing. This basically helps us fine tune the motor to the right proper air fuel ratio. Uh, which in return will get you more power out of it. The Mopar cold air intake certainly did its job by gaining 15 to 20 horsepower. Uh, the exhaust system kind of disappointed. We only made about seven foot pounds of torque and five horsepower on it. And on the Predator, with a non-aggressive tune, we made about 10 to 15 horsepower. I think with a more aggressive tune on the Predator, if we shoot for a leaner mixture, let's say in the 13 and a half, 13 range, we would probably get as much as 30 horsepower on the Predator tune. For those three packages to gain about 50 horsepower, I think it's well worth the money. It's been a long day of wrenching and tuning here at DCH Motorsports Temecula. This is Miles signing out. We'll see you next time on WebRideCV.com.